Welcome to another lecture video lecture on Insight Compute Visual Studio Code Edition. Today we'll explore how this powerful tool offers detailed performance profile integrates seamlessly with Visual Studio Code and provides interactive interactive matrices to help you optimize your code application. By the end of this session, you will understand how to use Insight Compute. <coughs> <coughs> By the end of this season, you will understand how to use Insight Compute within VS Code to enhance your GPU acceleration code. So let's take an overview uh, of uh, uh, Insight Compute Visual Studio, Studio Code Edition. So Insight Compute offers a detailed performance analysis, uh, detailed performance analysis and profiling tools for, for CUDA application, helping developers optimize CUDA uh, GPU accelerated code. So if we talk more detailed analysis, provide in depth analysis of CUDA kernels, bottleneck, bottleneck identification, identifies performance bottlenecks and suggests optimization, real-time feedback, offers real-time feedback on performance matrices as your profile your application. So uh, if you talking about uh, uh, Visual Studio Code, so uh, Insight Compute seamlessly integrates with Visual Studio Code, provides an intuitive and efficient environment for coding, debugging, and profiling within a single interface. No need to switch uh, different tools. Everything is available within VS Code. Enhances productivity by offering an intuitive workflow for development or optimization. Easily switch between coding, debugging, and profiling task. Okay, so let's start uh, uh, with the VS Code here. So for, go on your, uh, uh, again, go on product and support page of uh, uh, techlatest.net. And here you can see that the setup and installation guide of uh, CUDA on Azure, because in this uh, video I am using uh, Azure VM. Okay, so go on last step. So here you can see that the VM or the VM also comes with the inside compute visual studio code edition extension installed out of the box. Please refer to uh, for more uh, uh, documentation and for more information refer to any video official documentation. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's uh, go on RDP. So if you click on R, uh, like if you go on RDP. So you can see the Visual Studio code. I'm already opening the VM, my Visual Studio code. And if you click on extension section, then you can find about the, if you search about the inside Visual Studio code, then you can find about the inside Visual Studio code edition. Then here you can see that the disable, uninstall. Here you can see that already like uh, in my in my system already in my RDP, uh, inside Visual Studio code is already enabled. So you can enable with simple, uh, uh, with this button. If you want to disable this, so you can click on disable button. If you want to enable, then you can enable it. And if you want to install this, then click on install. And if you want to install, then you can install with this button. Okay. So this is the VS code. And here, if you click, then you can find about the VS code here. Okay. Then you can see that a lot of benefits like uh, about the VS code. Uh, like the key features, the benefits, uh, higher productivity using smart CUDA auto code completion features improve the overall development experience and enable users to save time and effort when writing code. Interactivity debugging with inside Visual Studio Code edition provide diverse benefits including code formatting, easy navigation through source code, displaying and interacting with different source files, building executable and texting. Remote development support inside Visual Studio uh, Code edition enable developers to implement CUDA code in various clusters environments such as virtual machines or remote Docker containers. It also supports core developments for Linux system via the remote WSL extension. Then free as with other inside tools from NVIDIA. Inside Visual Studio Code Edition offered free of charge. We love it when your code works better and is delivered so enjoy. Okay, and if you were talking about the key features, then CUDA syntax highlighting for code development and debugging, edit code predict with syntax highlighting and intelligent CUDA code, auto completion, go to definition, find uh, reference, reference simple and symbols, and more all seamlessly work for kernel function, the same as do for C function. Then CUDA kernels, breakpoint support in kernel execution control, GPU and kernel state inspection. Want to know more about more? See the inside this code is put like video and other stuff you can check these all resources if you want to kick start you can also check this resources. basically i'll 
I, I also I already completed these steps like uh, I will show you all the things here like how you can install and like where you can find about the VS code then in extension what you have to write simply I write inside Visual Studio Code and you can find about the Visual Studio Code extension here. Okay, so I think uh, that's cool and that's all about this lecture. So inside Visual Studio Code Edition provides a powerful and integrated environment for performing profiling, debugging, and optimizing CUDA application by leveraging detailed performance analysis, seamless VS Code integration, and data matrices. You can significantly enhance the efficiency and performance of your GPU accelerated code. Thank you for watching this lecture. We hope you find it informative and helpful your CUDA development projects. Okay, so uh, that's all about this lecture and uh, I hope you guys like this course and this is the last video of this course and one more video is uh, left uh, which is basically the conclusion and key takeaways so about the course and that this is the last lecture I hope you guys like this course don't forget to like and subscribe our channel because uh, this is very hard work and uh, to make content and create content for all of you and it is freely available on YouTube. Don't forget to like, subscribe our YouTube channel and also follow on, our, follow on LinkedIn and Twitter. And uh, apart from this, you can uh, visit our official website, which is techlatest.net for more info about the products and other stuff. So that's all about this lecture. I hope you guys like, like this video, this lecture, this course, and we'll provide more valuable content in future. So, yep, that's all about. Thank you.